G'day, I'm Justin Wolfers, and I remember sitting where your students are sitting right now, um, taking my first economics course. It was a big lecture hall at the University of Sydney, and I loved that course. But there's one part of it I, I'm still trying to recover from. I remember loving every part of it, and things were going well, and I was reading the textbook. I was that kind of student. And then about two weeks from the end of the semester, something funny happened. I read the next chapter of the textbook and it said, so far we've been assuming a closed economy. Let's now see what happens if we open up the economy. And so there I was seven eighths of the way through my course. And all of a sudden for the first time ever, we were gonna discuss open economy economics. Now, let me tell you, I went on from that course and I started working for the Reserve Bank. And one thing I learned there is closed economy economics just doesn't work for Australia. We would talk at length about terms of trade shocks affecting growth, about how the exchange rate was uh, a key force driving inflation, as were price developments around the world, how in order for the Reserve Bank to assess monetary conditions, we had to assess not just the interest rate, but also what was going on with the exchange rate. And if you tra track the Australian economy subsequently, we've had mining booms, we've had China shocks, um, we've had global pandemic shocks. I remember my favorite, we used to track the Southern Oscillation Index. All of this says if you want to understand Australia, Australia is not the US. Australia is a small open economy. And if you want to be a good Australian macroeconomist, you better understand that. And so when we sat down to write this book, we realized something. Virtually every textbook being used in Australia is an adaptation of a big American title. And it was a big American title that had for its American audience, been written largely as a closed economy textbook. And so Richard, Betsy and I sat down and we thought, what would a true Australian textbook be like? The answer is, it would be open economy in its bones. We don't have a chapter at the end tacking on the open economy, but every time there are global implications for what we're talking about, we discuss it as it, as it happens. If there's global implications of choices about consumption and saving, about the current account deficit, about what's going on with the exchange rate, how all of this will affect the decisions that not only governments, but also businesses and consumers make as well. Then we integrate that into the textbook at every stage. And the goal, of course, is our students are going to grow up in a globalized world. Um, many of our students are from abroad and that global perspective is the one thing that will certainly be equally true for them at home in uh, particularly uh, some of the regional economies. And so as you look through our book, I hope you'll notice it's not tacked on at the end. This is macroeconomics, the way an Australian would teach it.